Oh, this Rillaboom is everything. <laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Regulation H. Yep, that's right. We're doing Regulation H stuff. Even though we're not officially in Regulation H, we are going to be playing on casuals and start experimenting with some teams that a lot of people are already putting out there. So I thought, you know, why not better start Regulation H with, than with my own team, right? So that's what I'm doing. We're starting off with one of my own teams. We I, I already had one of these teams prepared and not because I knew Regulation H was going to be Regulation A++, basically, which is what we call it without the legendaries and stuff. Uh, it's because me and our my group of friends, shout out to Evan and uh, you know Kurt, everyone, you know, you know who you guys are, all, all the homies. Check check down check the ones in the description. They they have you if, if they have YouTube channels, you guys know them. Um, we are we were doing a little like fun tournament. We always have these fun tournaments we do in our Discord server, and we one of them was a regulation A plus plus tournament. So we already had a team basically ready so a lot of us already had teams ready so i'll probably be showcasing a lot of those teams on this channel because they were really really cool and honestly this is going to be an amazing format because there's going to be so much variety so much you know opportunities to make really cool teams like there's so many combos that you can do in this in this in this regulation i'm really excited for the uh, few months to come i am not excited for the months afterwards because we're going back to regulation g but it's nice that we're getting a nice, uh, you know, different pace of stuff. We're doing something different other than just slapping legendaries and seeing if it works. So this is my team that was supposed to be focused around Goldengo. I did one slight modification to it because it was something that I saw that I had a lot of issues with while playing this team. And that was that um, Grafai, because this is a Grafai Goldengo team. Um, struggled a lot against other Godengos because we don't really have a lot of Godengo things, especially when it, if it terrestrializes to Dragon, which I feel like Dragon is going to be Godengo's new favorite Terra once again. Because there's not a lot of fairy types. I mean, Sylveon's really your only fairy type that you're going to be dealing with. So Dragon is pretty, pretty solid right now. Since Fluttermane is gone, that's a big threat that's gone to Godengo. So Dragon is going to be really, really good into Godengo right now without Fluttermane being ramp rampant. So that's the whole point that we have Godengo here with Make It Rain, Nasty Blast, Shadow Ball Protect. I wanted to make a team with Godengo because that's he, he's the mascot of my of my channel. He's basically the face of my channel. So I really wanted to try and make a team with Godengo. So that's what I did. Uh, we have Rillaboom here as well. Nothing really different from uh, Rillaboom. It's just a salt vest with moves. You already know what that thing does. We have Talonflame here with a Cover Cloak, and we have he's. He's going to be, well, she, sorry, excuse me, Talonflame. She's going to be our Tailwind support here while also dealing some decent damage with Flare Blitz and Brave Bird. And with those Gale Wings, those are some priority Bravers you can have. And then we have Primarina here with Haze in case we run into Dondozos or Setup Mons because that's going to be pretty much going to happen in this regulation. They're going to, uh, Dondozo is probably something that you will see. So Primarina is kind of there for that reason. And also just to kind of deal with, um, just to kind of deal with the um, the fighting types and all that stuff that we're going to be seeing. It's a very, very, very good thing to have. Primarina is perfect if you want, you're looking for a fairy type. And Mind Shao here, just, you know, basic support stuff with Taunt, Wide Guard, Close Combat, and Fake Out. And Grafai Eye with Leer, Encore, Knockoff, and Gunshot Leer is really nice because it hits both, both of the enemies. And a lot of our... A lot of our thing is physical, while Primarina and Goldengo aren't. We used to have Acid Spray, as if you guys remember my Maridon team, Acid Spray. But like I said, I had a lot of issues running into enemy Goldengos, so I went with Knockoff just so I can kind of hit it in some way, or at least threaten it and scare it into Terror Astalizing in some way. But yeah, that's the team. We're going to be starting off with my team just to see what we can do in the casual ladder. It is casual. Hopefully we can run into some more Regulation Age teams too. Uh, with that said, make sure you guys to like and subscribe if you guys like the VGC content that I dish out. And yeah, let's just get straight into it and see what we can find. I will be putting, obviously, my poker base in the description below. I just wanted to let you guys know. Anyways, uh, let's see what this thing can do. Alright, well, um, close enough. It's it's not Regulation Age because they have an Ogre Pond and Ogre Pond and Ting oh, and Tinglu and Heat Ran. Those, those aren't legal. I don't think this guy knows what Regulation Age is. This man really thinks that you're allowed Ogre Pond, Heat Ran, and Ting Lu. 
They're all legendaries. They're not allowed. Neither is Urshifu. <laughs> this guy does not know what Regulation H is, but we don't have to... doesn't seem like we worry about... There's not much to worry in terms of... Of, like, fake out on their team. Okay. Do I need Tailwind? No. Not really. Not at all. I don't need it. It's 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 a tough one though, because I don't know what I should bring here. Who would he bring into this team? Definitely Ting Lu, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with these two real quick. I'll bring Primarino in the back and I'll go to Goldengo. Yeah, sure. I think it was better to go Mindshell though. But yeah, this is this isn't Regulation H, buddy. Because he's definitely I think he was going for Regulation H. Because there's no legendaries. <laughs> like there's no there's no restricted. Is what I meant. There's legendaries, there's just no restricted. But these aren't allowed. I did go for these guys, okay. Perfect. Perfect though, that's perfectly fine with me. Alright, we got the boost. And now we get to do what we do best. We're gonna hit the wood hammer on this slot. Oh I put I have acid spray. Oh I need to change this team. Freak. I put the No, this is I, I did change it. I must be using my other rental. I have I have a, I have a separate rental that I was using for the regulation H. So this is the one. This is I, I did make the right one. This is the wrong one. Like the wrong paste. I mean the wrong rental. I'm not using the right rental. Okay, hold on. I mean it's not the worst. He's actually going for for that. Okay. Well, we're lowering their 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 uh, defense, so this should just one shot Ogre Pond now. Yep. Nice. Good damage. We don't need to tear out. I'm pretty sure I could take a high horsepower to the face. Little guy can take it. I believe in it. Oh. Oh, he went for Fissure. All right. Well, either way, um, I'll make sure to use the, the the right rental next 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 battle. I'm pretty sure I put I made the right rental. I I literally changed it. Okay. This ain't gonna be fun. I'm terroring. That's that's all I gotta tell you. I'm gonna leer again. Yup, he's gonna switch. Into... Here's our Shifu, okay, cool. This is fine. We're gonna be terrestrializing because I don't know if I'm faster than Hiran. He can, he can, he can be two things. It could be running max speed, or it could be bulk. If it's bulk, I outspeed. If it's not bulk, and it's speed, I'm, 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 I'm losing my dude. And right now, this Rillaboom is everything. <laughs> uh, you gotta love casual, man. Casual is... F this is why it's casual, these people, man. They play with legendaries, and then when they're getting destroyed, they're like, oh, okay. Alright, let's just uh, move on to the next one. <laughs> oh boy, this guy This guy thinks he's, he's funny, huh? He thinks just because he brings these weird mons, he's playing Regulation H, huh? He brought Zacian. <laughs> By the way, the last the last guy that rage quit, I, I don't know why, but I knew the moment I terra he was going to rage quit. I don't know why. I just had a feeling he was rage quitting before he it even happened. That was That's the funny part. Uh, we are going to go Talonflame here. Talonflame Midas seems kind of good here. Not really, actually. If, he's, if he goes Talonflame... If he goes this time, he even has his own Goldengo. This is the right one, by the way. We have to knock off now, so we're good. Hmm. Let's think about this. 
I need to deal with that Goldengo. That Goldengo is actually a big problem here. I, I I also need to know the interaction with with Lear. It's gonna be a perfect time for me to understand how Lear works against Goldengo. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to fight this Asian, but I don't think I don't think I'll be able to do this. Because their Golden is like the biggest problem with this team, right? But they also have Haitian. That's the bigger problem. <laughs> Two steel types is the big problem here for me. Oh, they're not even gonna start off with that, okay. Oh, they're going for grass pledge then, right? Grass pledge stuff. That's what they're going with. I'm gonna put up Tailwind then, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna acid block. I think that's okay for me to do. I don't know what this thing can do to me actually. It's got Ground Terror, of course it does. What? Are, oh, silly me! It has the Ground Terror, of course it does. Oh, silly me! Why didn't I think of that? Ground, ground, ground Terror Sceptile. Oh, whoops! weakness policy on this thing oh okay that's fun terror terror ground weakness policy just to ensure yeah crazy <laughs> crazy okay that's fun <laughs> that's great that's fantastic leave it leave it to us being running into this as if he's as if he's he's not uh being silly running that Zation in the back. Like cool strat, but you're still running Zation in the back, man. That's the that's the thing here. Oh he didn't care. I honestly thought he was gonna uh, protect or something. On Grassy Glider, that thing's gone. Rock Slide. Talonflame, let's go! Good job. Good job, Talonflame. I don't know why this guy has Rock Slide. And why he didn't. He's not worried about Grassy Glide. One Grassy Glide, and that thing was gone. <laughs> smelly, yeah, you are smelly. Oh, that is a stinky boy, huh? That is a stinky boy. Alright, I'm gonna switch into my Jinx here. And I'm gonna go for a Grassy Glide onto this. Switch out. Let's let's not be let's not be silly here. And bring out our poison boy, our little Jinxie. Well, girl. The girl. She she she's a gal. My little my little Jinxie. All right, now he goes, brother. Now you protect. What is this? What is BS, man? Now he protects. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. I thought if he doesn't protect this time, I'm gonna be extremely upset. How badly do I need Terra here? Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll Terra just in case. He might switch into his station in the back, right? I'm just gonna do this. I think this is fine to do. Actually, no, it isn't. Actually, yes, it is. I'm gonna go for high horsepower on this. I don't have to Terra. Bro, why aren't you? Okay, this guy's... I don't know what to, what to do against this guy, man. Now he doesn't... <laughs> That's crazy. Or the way he plays. I could've just Grassy Glided again.
And it's all because this guy just plays weird, man. Casuals, you can't you can't rely on what casual players do. There's no reason for him to stay like this. All right, show me the Zacian because that's definitely what you have in the back. Hundred percent have Zacian in the back. Oh, he has. Okay, he didn't even bring it. Okay. Okay, if that's the case. We're just gonna flare this this thing, and we're just gonna grassy glide. Actually, you know what? One thing he could do. Oh, we we have two turns now. We're we're fine. Yeah, we're just grassy gliding. That's fine. Literally, I don't know what you're playing at at this point. Let's just get a flare blitz into this. Oh, is it sashed? Is this thing sashed? Oh, I mean, you, yeah, you have, have fun with that. Yeah, that's cool. You do you. Do you do you, pal? Um. This thing has to be unburdened, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Flare Blitz. Grassy Glide again. Yup. He thought he, de he definitely doesn't deserve that for how we played. That's fine. Completely fine. You lose anyways. He should have brought the Sation, man. <laughs> he should have. He should have brought the. I mean, the Sation wouldn't have helped him. I would have terrored at that point. I would have terrored at that point. I do have high horsepower on the on the Rillaboom too. Four Golden Goes. So, <laughs> I have I have ways to deal with Godango. It's just making sure that it can't terastalize. That is the uh, that is the number one thing about Godango is you need to stop it from terastalizing. Otherwise, it's just um, it's it's not gonna be fun. Now we just high horsepower. You should have brought your Zacian, but you know what? I'll respect you just because you didn't bring Zacian. I'll respect it for you not bringing Zacian because I, I was full on expecting Zacian. All right. Well, at least that—that's a thing. All right, GG. Oh, oh, TG. You definitely—you're definitely regulation H. Okay. Now we're cooking. What are we cooking? I have no idea, but we're cooking. Hundred percent cooking now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But you know what? Midas actually looks good here. If I can tear it. Let's keep. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real here. It definitely looks real good into this. It really looks good here as well into the late game. So what do we want to do here? We're definitely playing Gold Dango. I don't know if we bring Jinx now. Jinx would be okay too because like I said. No, actually no. Jinx is actually not that good here. So I think it's going to be Gold Dango and this guy. Remember, you know, in the back. And then we bring Unga Bunga in the back just in case. They bring one of those water dudes in the back. So so my reasoning here is that he has no way of touching the Goldengo. Once I Terra. Because I'm dragging Terra. He can't he can't go for he can't he can't go for sleep powders. He has no way to do his sleep powders either. So that's kind of my, my plan here. Is that he has no way to deal with my oh he went with Rachel okay oh what what is he planning here oh I'm terrified what is he planning here okay I'm 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 gonna switch here into Unga Bunga and I'll protect just to see what he's gonna do if he has a ground move I switch out that's why if he has ground moves I might not I might just switch out And figure out the right. He, if he has a oh, oh, flying move, this this thing is gonna be a problem. Okay, we'll see. Because while yes, I could just Terra here. I think it's safer to Terra the next turn. He is going for Terra normal. Oh, I know what he's doing now. Oh shoot! I can't believe I didn't click the two, the two things together. He's going for extreme speed. 
He's going upper hand extreme speed. Damn, I should have I should have just went for Nancy Plot. I could have too. Oh boy, okay. I messed up. I just lost my monkey for no reason. I, I always I always fall for this for this strategy, man. I always end up falling for this strategy. Um I'm just gonna go for the wood hammer and I'm just gonna go for a nasty plot. Thank god I didn't Terra. <laughs> Went for upper hand thinking I was gonna go for He does have a freaking nice ground move. Oh my god, he does have a ground move. <laughs> now he swaps to the man, what the heck man? God, man, I can't catch a break with this. We don't go down at least, so that's at least good. We do have, we do have Grass Terra though. Which might not help me out here as much as you might think though. I'm just gonna go for high horsepower. I'm gonna. I'm gonna protect. Oh, this is gonna be a rough one. For sure. I went for Electro Web. I always fall for this damn strategy though. He's gonna go for Heatwave, right? Maybe in Solar Beam? Extra Sensory. Okay. I should have high horsepower to Nine Tails then, but I kind of needed this thing a lot more than anything. It's not even sashed. Okay, I'll take it. It's not sashed. Okay, here's the fun part. Here's the here's the fun one. Uh, he could just grasp me now. We t do we s no we don't we don't want to lose our thing here. I'm gonna go for high horsepower. Can we take a hit? I don't know. If I Terra and he goes for a heat wave, I'm 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 dead. Because this guy's kind of a a little dum dum. As well. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what we do here, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do here. That's fine. That's actually really good. Completely fine with what the outcome here. And Sludge Bomb go instead of Energy Ball? Yeah, I guess I, I could see that. Poison effect. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I still took a big chunk out of that thing too. Okay, we'll switch into our Talon Flame. And then we're just gonna go for a Brave Bird into this. And um, Hyper Voice. Nice. Venusaur is gone. And then we just have to deal with the Primarino. I mean the Nine Tails, not the Primarino. Okay. Well, it's up to... Um, I could have protected there, but I was like... <laughs> but if they go for, for my dude. It's all up to me now. But we do have this. To guarantee it. There's no way Ninetales is faster than Talonflame. Talonflame is disgustingly fast. Talonflame has like what base 120 something speed. It's kind of why I went with um Talonflame as my as my tailwind setter over Whimsicott. I wanted a fire type and 
I still need a Tailwind, so... Tail... Talent Fame. Talent Fame is amazing for this. In hindsight, like, if I was gonna make a Godango team all over again, though, I would probably run Urkrow, for sure. And just run Choice Vex, uh... Choice Vex Dango. Because with that, you could just keep spamming... You just spam the, the move and just keep hazing yourself. That's basically the plan there. You just Tailwind first turn, uh, Choice Vex... Uh, steal Terra and just go go straight in. That's pretty much the plan there. All right, well, GG with the third game here. Let's go with a fourth since the first one was short. Oh no way, we're fighting the same guy. Okay, we're indeed fighting the same guy again. Okay. Hmm. How do we deal with this guy? How do I deal with this guy now that I know what he's going to do to me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I still do the same lead, honestly. Same lead. But I actually do bring Jinx here. Yeah, same lead. We'll figure out the rest later. So here's the thing though. I think this time, I know, since I know what he's doing and I should have seen that coming. The thing is, I think he has to go for that same play. Which allows me to protect. Okay, he's going for these two this time. What is the plan here? I'm just gonna put up Tailwind. Or should I? I feel like I need to protect this thing at all costs. Maybe I go into Unga Bunga here first. You know what? We're gonna protect. And we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna go for nasty plot. I swear this thing is ground terra freaking Vaporeon, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, he's gonna go for fake out, but I have cover cloak so that wouldn't have mattered that much. I, I was more of avoiding the, the electro web. Well we know this thing doesn't have focus sash though, right? Yeah, he's going for that, okay. I'm going to Tailwind here, I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. Actually, I'm going to switch into Kunga Bunga here. And then go for Shadow Ball. What does this thing do to me, is, is the question. I will right, switch into Rillaboom here. Much as I wanted to Tailwind, the problem with Tailwind... Oh, I swear to god, if you are freaking ground Terra, I'm gonna lose it. Or Terra Fire Blast or something. Oh, god, he's Terra Fire Blast. You've gotta be kidding me with these... These Terras, man. He's Terra Fire Blast, dude. You've gotta be kidding me with these. Oh no, he's called. What, what was the point of that? What was the point of that? He even scalded the, the Goldengo. Oh. He's going Gyarados? Okay. Gyarados is kind of scary though. Mm. I think I just faked this out. And go for a Shadow Ball on this slot. Or even make it rain, honestly. Get some chip damage on both. I think he's actually better here. Yeah. It's actually better here. 
correct. Oh, okay, that's fine too. That's your Culver Cloak. I mean, this thing could run Culver Cloak. It's not Culver Cloak. Maybe Goggles? Maybe Life Orb. Got really good damage into that. Because now what we can do is, um... We could even protect if we really want to. But I think I kind of want my... my. My dude in now. Now what, I kind of want to switch into Jinx right now. And I'm going to protect. We don't really need Jinxy here. So I just want to protect and see what it's going to do. Because I need that. I need, I mean, I need to uh, reset my Rilla Booms minus one. Because we could have taken out um, what's his face here if we wanted to. But I don't think that's that's really worth worth it. Oh, Thunder Wave, okay. Well, there goes my speed. Yeah, they're Scald. I could I could go for knockoff here, I think. And just shadow ball this slot. I think that's actually my best play here. We'll get to see what the item is. Jinxie gets a nice KO on this Gyarados, by the way. Hey, <laughs> Jinxie! I love Grafai, man. And we're gonna get to play him? Uh man. That's gonna be so good. I love Grafai, man. I love him. That's fine. Take me out if you want. Oh, you're not gonna take me out? Okay. We're still faster because, I mean, it's unburdened, so I think paralyzing is like 30% of your speed cut. It's not a 50% anymore, it's a 30%. I might be just thinking about the the, the, the paralyzed chance but of getting paralyzed, but yeah. Okay, okay. There's Dragonite, though. There's Dragonite. For sure, for sure. We're just going to Leer here. Oh, we'll just make it rain. Okay, that's fine. He is fast. Wait, is he scarfed? No, he's not scarfed. You're leering here. Oh, of course not. Never mind. Now we get paralyzed on a very important leer. Okay. That would have been huge. That would have been extremely big. Can we encore that thing into, into that then? That'd be fantastic. Um. I think I'm gonna go into this. Going to Talon Frame here. And I'm gonna go for the Encore onto the Vaporeon, and I'm just gonna Brave Bird this. Good damage. I don't think this KOs. Not a plus two. There we go. Yeah, have fun doing that, whatever. You do that. You do your thing. I'm cool. We're cool. Yeah, you do that. That's cool. We like that. We love that. We love we love you uh, being at peace, Vaporeon. Do what you want. Okay, I'm going to go for Leer here. And I'm just going to put up Tailwind. If you extreme speed, so be it. Okay. Well, that does kind of suck though, just because um, I won't get the leer off unless I get paralyzed here. 
Oh, we still get it off. Okay, well that's a good interaction to nod as well, because I, I I did aim for the uh the dude. We never got to see if the interaction works on the on the dude though, but that's okay. Thanks for letting me put up my thing though. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm gonna knock off this thing in the face now. And I'm just gonna uh Raybird this. Yeah, really good damage now. Get rid of its weakness policy. No, that's fine, you can take me out if you want. We've done what we needed to do. Like yeah, you're at like plus five, but our last two are physical, so we're kinda we're kinda chilling. Encore does end here though. Pretty sure. But you should be in range of a uh, of a thing now. I'm I'm gonna protect here with my talent flame because I don't wanna take a, a smack to the face right now. So I'm gonna high horsepower and I'm gonna protect because that's definitely what he wants is to um I could have grassy glided him too. But I just wanna make sure I don't get blasted by a, an extreme speed and just lose because of it. Yep. There's the extreme speed. He didn't protect though. Wait, was Encore not over? I don't know. But I this should just pick up the Vaporeon. Yep. Alright, see a Vaporeon. Good job, Grafai, man. Grafai's support is so good. Grafai's support is just so good. Especially in a, in a format that it doesn't like have to be threatened by a giant behemoth above Restricted. It's super good. And there we go. A too old. The dude. GG. Well, that's going to be the, the the end of our battle. Let's, let's get on to the outro. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yep, Regulation H is going to be very, very fun. We have so many, so many things that we can do with this regulation. There's going to be so many teams that people are going to be doing. Quacavo, Masquerada, Infernape. Like, all these starters are going to be able to be used. All Servi Ledge and Armor Rouge are going to be able to use. God forbid, Don Dozo, though. That's why I have Haze on this team. Just in case. But there's going to be a lot of things. Like, Goldango, Murkrow is back. Uh, let me remind you that High Dragon is going to be a menace in this regulation. Because if you remember correctly, it was pretty dominant in the first regulation. Or re first two regulations. I forget which one. Where it would focus energy and then Draco Meteor. Because it would just never... It would just always crit. Well, let me remind you that now we have Dragon Cheer, which is basically Focus Energy. So now you can even protect your High Dragon and get a Dragon Cheer safely. You just do it safely. Now you don't have to worry about getting blown up on, on the turn one. You can just do it safely now. And because fairies aren't that prevalent, where Primarina and Sylveon are practically your only good uh, fairy, fairy, uh, fairy users and they're very slow, uh, yeah. High Dragon's gonna be pretty pretty much a menace. We've got Palafin back. We got a lot of things back, and Goldengo's back, of course, as well. It was always in in the meta, but this this time it's going to be a complete menace. But yeah, this is this is the team that I I made. Uh, if you guys want to try out the team, the rental and the, and the Poké Base will be in the description below for you guys to use. As always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help, and I get my chicken nuggets. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.